Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video we're going to work on finding the, the values of different trigonometric functions using our calculator. And for this video I'll be using the uh, TI-84, but these instructions also work for the TI-83, so if you got that one, just as good. So sometimes you come across some um, very interesting angles inside your trigonometric functions. And they're not necessarily 30, 60, 90, or even 45 degrees, and so you don't have those key values memorized. Well, with the help of a calculator, we can still figure out what some of these values are. Let's go ahead and do a few examples, and you'll see uh, how those instructions work. In addition to just needing our calculator, we will, we will also need to know how some trigonometric functions are related to one another. Uh, that way we can use a few identities. All right, so the very first thing you want to do with your calculator when finding some of these trigonometric values is check the mode on your calculator. Uh, on mine, the mode is right near the top here, so if I press it, it'll give me lots of different options. Um, a major thing that you want to check is whether you're typing in radians or degrees. For the examples that I'll be working on, uh, I'll be using degrees. Uh, but later on in trigonometry, you'll see me maybe switch back and forth between degrees and radians, so it's always a good idea to check to see what your angle is written in. So let's go ahead and keep it degrees. I'll go ahead and press second quit to get back to my home screen. Now, if it's already in degree mode and you type in something like cosine of 23, the calculator will assume that that 23 is 23 degrees. So no surprises there. I can easily just uh, type in cosine of 23 and it will go ahead and give me the answer. So let's write this as 0 0.92 and we'll round that to three decimal places. Now, if I really want to be specific on the type of angle that's in there, I could say cosine 23 and then actually give it that little degree marker. To give it the degree marker, uh, we have some angle options. So I can go to second and then press uh, the angle. And here you'll see those units like the degree marker, minute marker. So I can use those to be a little bit more uh, specific. So now it's uh, cosine of 23 degrees. And when I press enter, sure enough, I get that same answer. So nothing has really changed. Um, now let's go ahead and do another one. And we'll need to use that degree marker because I have something like 44 degrees and 25 minutes. So this one involves tangent, so I'll start off with my tangent button. I'll do 44, second angle, so I can put in the degree marker, enter. And then 25, second angle, and I'll put in the little minute marker. So 44 degrees, 25 minutes. Close our parentheses and press enter. So 0 0.9798. Uh, Not bad. All right, now you'll notice on many calculators, we usually only have sine, cosine, and tangent. And you can figure out the values of the other trigonometric functions, but you gotta know how they're related to sine, cosine, and tangent in order to do this. So in the next one, we're gonna take care of cosecant, and of course, I don't have a cosecant button. But what I can do is recognize that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So instead, I'm gonna figure out what is one divided by sine of 13 minutes, or 13 degrees, 11 minutes. And that'll give me the same value as my cosecant of 13 degrees, 11 minutes. So it works just as good, All right? So one divided by sine. And now let's do our 13 second angle degrees, 11 second angle minutes. Close our parentheses and press enter. And now there's my value for cosecant. 4.38, uh, let's round that to three decimal places, 4.385, nice. So some really good things that you can do with this calculator. Uh, remember about uh, checking your mode first, that you can use units by pressing second angle, and also remember your reciprocal identities so that you only need to use sine, cosine, and tangent. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.